Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest was one of the most well-known gossip bloggers around, and now she says she's empowering a generation of fly and fearless women. Mm. Here with her powerful story of transformation, please welcome blogger and entrepreneur Nicole Kane. Yay. Welcome, welcome. welcome to the show. Yes, yes. Thank you. So well, excited. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Well, Nicole, I most certainly remember your old, your old mm -hmm. school blog. I'll say that, okay? Uh -huh. uh, and you were very uh, intense with the way you had written mm -hmm. things, uh, mm -hmm. but very captivating to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I used to check it out. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, uh, and that was way before the Shade Room and, and you know, Boss Up and all of that. How did you get your start back in 2008? Um, I actually started like at a very low point in my life. I was living with an aunt in a guest room. I was like 27 and wondering what did I just do mm. with all of my 20s. Mm. Um, but I was up on celebrities and what they were doing in, in the news and so I started it like to provide commentary. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I started on MySpace. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's all yes. That's yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, but at the time like you know the only other jobs out there were like Walmart in the small town that I lived. So I was like, I gotta make this thing pop. Mm -hmm. And I got kicked out by my aunt and so I made my way down to Atlanta and that's wow. where things kind of started off. taking off for me, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did she ever come back and apologize for kicking you out? No, I mean, no. no. <laughs> Did you mean to be kicked out? But no, no, when people, like, when people kick you out, like that's removing the crutch from underneath. That of is. You. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, so you were appreciative. Very it's a yeah. very yeah. grateful. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. And she didn't kick out. She just pushed you away. Yeah, from for, sure. Right. for sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Good, good. Now look here, Nicole. <laughs> when you was back when you was um, reporting on the good, bad, and then okay, then I'm sure there were times, or were were there times where you kind of felt a way like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't report on this. This might be a little, mm. Mm -hmm. or and or. Was there ever a time where you reported on something and the celebrity got really upset with you? And, and confronted how you did later. you handle that? Oh my God, I've had everybody confront me. Floyd Mayweather, Nelly, like, I'm like, how do these people get my number? But, uh -uh. <laughs> but um, I think I was out on the scene a lot. So I was one of those bloggers that you'd see me at an event mm -hmm. and that didn't happen a lot. Um, and so once you start getting to know people, it's kind of hard to report on them, mm -hmm. you know? So that that was tough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this this happens to many of us. There came a time in your life where you had that epiphany. It's like, you know what? I need to make a change. Mm -hmm. So take us through that transformational time in your life. Um, well, first I started my blog when I was in my late twenties. So you get in your thirties, you start thinking about purpose. Mm -hmm. You start thinking about legacy. How will you be remembered? Um, I started thinking about like my parents passing. Like, would they be mm -hmm. proud of what I did? Um, so that's the transformation, or that was what was happening in my life um, when I decided to um, close out my website in 2015, actually. I it's remember. been four years. Yeah, <laughs> I remember too. Um, mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted to do something more impactful, mm -hmm. intentional, purposeful for yeah. young women. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and I know that had to be very, very scary yeah. for you to step out on faith like that. Yes. You, cause we, because uh, gloss, I mean, gossip blogging is very, very popular, and mm -hmm. you were at the forefront of that. Yes. And now you're gonna turn it around to empowering women. Tell us about what Exo Nicole is doing. Um, Exo Nicole is like, very, well, when I closed down my site, I realized, I looked around and everything geared towards black women was gossip and mm -hmm. entertainment related or celebrity related. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we're so multidimensional. Like mm -hmm. we, we, we want to talk about relationships and beauty and, yeah. and style and, and wellness and self care. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I saw a huge void and I was like, it's the perfect time to fill it. So that's, that's how I ventured into Exo Nicole. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, that's so awesome. So with a new vision, a positive attitude and wanting to put great content out there, how important was it for you to surround yourselves around the right people? And I hear that Will Packer mm -hmm. is a huge supporter of your new um, site. Yeah, well, Will Packer actually acquired my brand. So wow. he bought my brand in 2017. Uh, <laughs> But it's very important because when you change your life, you, you change, it changes everything mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. you. You, the different people start coming in your uh, circle. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a drama filled person, then you're gonna attract drama. Yes. But if you, mm -hmm. you're about wellness and elevating, then you're gonna attract those type of people. Yes. So yeah, like I, it's funny because I don't get any negative comments on my social media. Like I don't see any negativity anymore. And it's like, wow, mm -hmm. like when you change your life, you mm -hmm. change, you change <laughs> everything. everything. You change yeah. your mind, yeah. you change your life. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, and speaking of wellness and in your personal journey, um, you know, we're all he here into wellness, mm -hmm. big, you know, uh, especially me, I, I turn up down to the wellness and working <laughs> out and she lean and stuff. So I know that it takes a level of discipline. It does. What I do want to know is what is your discipline mantra? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you keep yourself um, physically fit and mentally sound yes. because mm -hmm. the two go together. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. definitely go together. I was just going to say that um, even this morning before I came here at 5 a.m. I was on the treadmill. Gotta get it. And for me, like when I'm on the treadmill, I'm listening to motivational speeches mm -hmm. the entire 30 minutes I'm on there. Yes, so that, on. that's pouring into myself yes. and it's like me putting an armor on and before I go out into the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, so you have to it's fill real. yourself up first before you start pouring that's into right. everybody yes. else. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good stuff, good so stuff, right. good yes. stuff. Well, you know, you have an event that's mm -hmm. all about celebrating women, and it's called Elevate Her. Yes. Yes. So why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, it's this Saturday, um, August 3rd at Mesa Fine Arts Center, and it was me trying to get back to black women-owned businesses mm -hmm. because, of course, a black man came along and poured into my business, mm -hmm. so I want to use my platform to elevate other small mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. owners. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be um, a lot of women-owned businesses. It's going to be palm reading, and, yes. and then I, we have uh, three panels throughout the day with reps from Forbes and CNN, which is going to teach women how to pitch themselves oh, nice. and get press. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we have, it's going to be a very amazing, fun day. Yes, yeah, good. Yeah, well, like Nicole, it. thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. For just walking <laughs> in your path yes. and just kind of just transforming yourself. Yes. Yeah. We're so grateful change for Change is good. Yes, yeah, change you. is always good. <laughs> for more on this amazing <laughs> young woman, please check out her lifestyle blog, exonicole.com. Give it up for Nicole King. Yay.